name's Dan Platter and I uh, work for the South East Council's Climate Change Alliance and I'm the project coordinator uh, for the Alliance and uh, tonight I'll be talking about uh, apartment blocks and how we can improve the energy efficiency. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this talk. So the Residential Efficiency Scorecard is a program that's run by the State Government. They've d devised a tool that helps us star rate a home. So have you ever built a new home? Anyone build a new home? No? Okay, so under, under law, under regulation, if you build a new home, you have to build it to six star standard. Uh, it's a national code and uh, it's called Nathers and uh, that rates a home. Unfortunately, it's not a performance score. It is just a, it's a theoretical score that's done at the planning stage. And, uh, but the minimum standard is six. Um, and also under that program, it doesn't include solar. So it's, it's, it assumes that the home is actually, if you get 10 stars under neighbors, uh, it's, it then is saying that your home is a passive home. It doesn't need any heating or cooling. So that's not, it's not really the end result. I hope there's no passive house advocates here, absolutely. I'm a passive house advocate, but uh, realistically, it's not what the market will, will um, take, if you like. Uh, it's too high a bar to jump. Um, where if we then look at energy neutrality, that's really what we're trying to achieve. Uh, if we all achieve neutrality, energy neutrality, um, then we'd have a, a very sustainable energy market. Um, and our bills would be, more importantly, very low. Uh, you wouldn't have that, that cost of the actual power itself. You may still have the network costs, but you won't have the cost of the power. So, so the government recognises this, and that's why they've now created this tool, where we, can also, where we can actually rate the home and compare it to other people. So it has all these logarithms at the back of it that actually then looks at uh, your home on the fixed appliances and uh, the building shell, uh, compared to other homes. So we were, as a, an organisation, not-for-profit, we helped the department uh, do a couple of the trials, the initial trials, and uh, we've just about done 200. And we are looking at uh, offering this to uh, uh, eligible concession holders. Um, and it is now commercially released. So they're essentially trying to create a bit of a market whereby uh, we now use this tool more broadly. So there's a whole range of assessors out there now that have been trained that you can go and actually get an assessment done, uh, done from and uh, you'll pay them a fee. It's a fee for service. So typically they're sitting around about $300 an assessment. The whole idea is that it is to empower you to make decisions. That's essentially what it is, to take your personal situation and give you an in-depth knowledge of uh, your home and where, to, where best to make um, decisions and changes. Exactly what I said before, it's about that price point and trying to uh, ensure that you uh, get the best bang for buck. It should also give you confidence in making decisions and it's independent. So when they come out, they're not gonna try and sell you a solar panel or try and sell you a whole range of products that you probably don't even need. Um, it will be independent advice that is, that is verified um, under the scorecard uh, verification processes. So they will spot check assessors and they'll ensure that the advice that they give is, is in line. It's very hard to become an assessor. Um, they, they, you need to have a lot of experience and, um, and whatnot. So we're pretty impressed with how the government's rolling it out. So that's what you'll get at the end of it. You'll get that scorecard out of 10. And uh, it'll also give you a, a hot weather rating as well, which looks at how your home will perform, or your apartment will perform uh, when the power is out. So, uh, which is really important uh, for the young and the elderly. And in apartments, you're again ahead because a lot of your walls are shared. So you'll probably find that your apartment's very cool in summer and um, that's, that's an advantage. So you might find that your hot weather rating is a bit higher than, than others. You get that certificate, you'll be, it'll allow you to get that, that advice and it's available for apartments, for semi-detached, for houses, and um, it, it's, we treat them all the same, okay? We analyse the home in exactly the same way. Uh, the only, only homes that we can't assess, uh, or apartments we can't assess, are those that share uh, their heating and cooling systems. So if that's you, then unfortunately I'm, we can't. But if you share hot water, that's fine. We can, we can work around that, but not heating and cooling systems. So all, the, all that advice, all that, all that discussion we had earlier are all the things that we assess. We come into the home and we, we look at everything that we've been speaking about tonight. Um, it's the only way to do it. It's, it's the science behind energy efficiency. So we check 
the roof for insulation, we check the, the home for gaps and we measure it up. Uh, we measure all the windows and the floor spaces to know what your airspace is that you're trying to control, how big it is, so we can look at how much power you'll be using. And um, if you've got a hot tub uh, on the top of your apartment, we'll have a look at that as well. Uh, and your hot water unit, we'll look at that. We'll find out what star rating it is. Your, your heating and cooling appliances, we'll look at what star rating that is. And you'll either get marked up or you get marked down. And uh, that spits out a number uh, and a whole bunch of recommendations. I've just explained to you about how that assess. We also look at uh, if you've got any blinds as well and eaves, that all gets factored into it. And um, dimensions we've talked about. Then they'll show you a bit of a preview. They won't finalise the assessment. Uh, they'll have to go into every room uh, in your home and do all these measurements, uh, the, the ceiling heights and all those sorts of things. And um, then they'll give you a bit of a review of um, your assessment and what, what your house has been star rated at. And they'll then give you some ideas because they've just been around everywhere. Uh, they will take photos of only the fixed features of the home. Um, so they won't, they're not going to have any photos in there of anything personal. Um, it's just so for example, you can see that closed weave blind there, they'll take a picture of the corner of that blind. Uh, they'll take a picture of the, the window to, to show that it's single glazed. Uh, so it's only the fixed appliances as well, it's not the non-fixed. They won't look at your fridge, uh, won't look at anything you plug into the wall. Uh, we're looking at the efficiency of the fixed features so we can then compare it to other homes. So, and the reason why that is because when you leave, uh, you take all your stuff out of it and someone else goes into it. So we don't want to know how your behaviour is necessarily. We want to know how the house performs generally amongst the population, no, no matter who's living in it. So that's why it's an even keel in terms of uh, uh, comparing apples with apples. Uh, and that makes it very valuable because then we can actually give it a, a firm star rating that we can, we can actually inform you when you're buying or renting a home. So they'll go away and just check their numbers and then they'll send you an email or put, you, put uh, something in the post to you. And in the meantime, so it takes, they'll spend about half an hour, 45 minutes going through uh, all this information with you. And uh, if you've got your power bills there or you've got access to your energy portal, they'll take a look at that and they'll be able to talk about all the things we've been talking tonight and give you that specific advice. Uh, yeah, and all the possible upgrades. They may have a list of things of, of companies that you can go and find out more from, but essentially it's up to you to do that research and uh, see what else you can do. Like I said, they'll take some photos uh, and it takes about an hour and a half to two hours to give you a full assessment. For an apartment, it's probably gonna be a little bit less. Uh, and so you can all, you know, again, already you can pat yourself on the back. The fact that you're living in smaller spaces means that you'll probably find your apartment is rated higher than the average Australian home because uh, most of them are gonna be about 20 squares or so. That's what you'll receive and with your recommendations. Uh, if you've got solar, it will include that as well. It'll look at the proportion of which your solar is, is uh, being used in the home. And uh, that's what you call. Thank you for watching. This workshop has been provided by the City of Port Phillip to support you to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, water use and waste. For further information, please visit sustainableportphillip.com.